Hey everybody, put your hands together, Dave Navarro from Jane's Addiction. Thank you. This is very cool. I mean, my wife and I are obsessed right now with Ink Master. We've oh, been good. watching it I nonstop. That show. That good, show, good, good. There's just some interesting tattoos going on on that show. Yeah, but you know what? I got to say that everybody who signs up for that is, uh, you know, they're all great people, great artists, and, uh-huh. and they go through the, the ringer on that thing. I mean, yeah. they're not sleeping, they don't know what they're walking into. So even the first person who goes home has more balls. Than I do because I would never walk into something like that. Would I'm, you be a contestant or would you? Hell be like, no. I, yeah, a canvas. No, no. Canvas. no. I, what, I, oh, I have been thing. a canvas. I'm sure you have. Or, or back no, in, uh, two yeah, episodes yeah, ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. Thanks a lot for showing me that you don't support the program. <laughs> Such a wow. If you look at my body, I don't. Uh, I, don't think I love the so. show. But you have uh, eyes. You could watch. You could support. You know, support the program. Hold on a second. You, uh, we, we have seen the canvases in that show. How did you do that? Because I, I would think you want to make sure you get the winner. You, you know um, I mean? Cause yeah, but I mean, like, at a certain point, you kind of just got to trust, you know, what's happening. And, and it was, there was a list of parameters that I had that I told everybody, and then I got to pick the designs. Yeah. And believe me, by the time that we got to that challenge, I know who's good and who isn't. Right. Or who I would like and who I wouldn't like. And so I just kind of... I finessed it a little bit. My million dollar question on that show, I always wonder about it. You, you guys do the challenges, and then it gets to the point where you guys say, okay, the challenge is done. Do, do, do those tattoos ever get finished, or they just... That's, I don't know. That, I don't oh, know. People always ask that, but it's the same deal that if you walk into a shop, mm-hmm. and either you don't finish or you get something bad, like you're still screwed in the shop. In the real world, <laughs> you're screwed on our show, too. It's a valuable life lesson. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously, people, people always ask me, well, what happens if they don't like the thing that they get? Well then they are stuck with something they don't like. That's very true. And then there's a, a lesson to be learned about going on television for free sh- <laughs> 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 Yeah. You wanted to be on TV, hon. There's your tattoo. Attention, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The day that reality TV died, we're going to put it right here. Yeah. I love that. You because- know what, man? It will never <laughs> die, man. There is never going to be a shortage of people that want to be on TV for absolutely the craziest reasons ever. You're, you're right. absolutely right, you know? man. It, it, it's been going on since, I mean, the really the dawn of time where people just will do anything, you know, for snake oil. Yeah, yeah, it really has. I mean, I, I go back to... Uh, I mean, the Osbournes for me was uh, one of the pivotal yeah. shows, you yeah. know, and that's that's the the king, you know, that's Ozzy. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's crazy some of the shows that are out there now, but yeah, I just wanted to say I do enjoy watching. Oh, I appreciate shows. it. I appreciate and it. I'm so excited to see you guys here. I mean, I've seen you guys a bunch of times already, mm-hmm. but now the opportunity to see you guys at the Gorge, yeah, is it, it, I'm still so pumped about that. And. I don't already tell my friends, you might not want to be around me when if they once the bass riff for a three days starts and I'm at the gorge and you guys are playing, I might lose my crap. I mean, I think that would be possibly. awesome to see. <laughs> well, I'll let you know then. <laughs> because we were just talking, if you lose your crap literally, yeah, uh, yes. there's oh, yeah. not more natural of an environment for you to do that in. That's so true. <laughs> I mean, this is the, technically the toilet of the gods. Am I right? I, I think that's what the, the gorge means. In the Latin. gorge in Latin. Yes. Toilet of the gods. <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new name for a reality TV show. Yep. Dude, what a great story. Dude, I went and saw Jane's Addiction. I totally pooped my pants. Yeah, but I don't know awesome. if we should be talking about that and using the word gorge and ass in the same sentence. That's Solid really point. bad. Yeah. This is turning really south. That's the new reality show. There you there go. There you go. That's it. Uh, but the thing is about our show, it's not reality for me. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, hey, okay, today you're going to do this. Six hours, go ahead. And right. then I go kick it in the back right. with the judges, and yeah. we watch movies. What That's, do you guys watch? Whatever. What's the last movie you watched that you guys were like, that you all agreed last on that thing was I awesome? wa- Well, I watch a lot of documentaries. And so uh, the last thing I did back there, I think, was called some... I forget. It was about this fake guru. I got, I'm spacing on the name. Oh, I love Samara. S- oh, I anybody love know? Like this. I have no idea. Anyway, I don't know, it's about this I... guy who decides that he's going to try and trick people into following him wow. and then reveal that he's just some regular dude talking a bunch of <laughs> and that people will follow anything. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty eye opening. It's like the L. Ron Hubbard theory of things. Somewhat. Yeah. But here, speaking of L. Ron, and let's talk about Scientology and Tom Cruise and all those things. There we go. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> I know you want to talk about music, but uh, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> And we're all concerned about Katie anyway, so it's good. We well, she's on her own, right? She's safe. Well, you, but you never she's know. She's free I mean, and clear. She's free from the the, the, the Klinganians or whatever the heck they, they, you know, she was But here's with. the bottom line. I don't care what that guy thinks. <laughs> Do you? No. I just, 
I don't know why everybody's so up in arms about it. I just want to see him do something rad in a movie. And that's what I always say. No matter how crazy I think Tom yeah. Cruise is. Give me a Mission he, Impossible 5. I'm, it, I'll be there. You put him in an action film. That's all I'm saying. He knocks it out of the park every time. When they yell cut and he starts believing in crazy shit, I don't care. Jumping on couches. <laughs> Who cares? I don't even mind him jumping on a couch. That was fun looking. Just kicking jumping on, Oh, I, uh, carry on. I'm sure you have a question. I'm going to show you a picture here. That, will, <laughs> that I wish people... Um, is it, does it involve a gorge in the toilet of, of the guy? I have that one, too. I want that Here picture. Here we well, go. I don't know. Do we want to leave the whole Scientology thing? I don't no, think we, we, could, we could go wherever you want to go, My man. theory on the Scientology thing is I believe that those, those celebrities that are um, Scientologists are getting paid a good dollar to, to promote it. I don't know about that. You don't, you I think, think they're, they're, they're spending it? money is what they're doing. They're taking all those courses. and You know what? Far be it for me to say I... I went to the Celebrity Center one time, which Did is you, a oh, really, which is a Scientology like uh, recruitment center. That's like Check this picture out. This is a picture of <laughs> oh, Tom. That's fantastic. That's Tom. That's Tom where the original Tom Oprah, when he was okay. jumping on the couch. Right? Yep. And I think I'm on the Tyra Banks show. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Isn't that exciting? That's Look like at you. Mirror images my own, almost. My own Tom. So it's then, really great stuff for so radio, you, I'm sure. Uh, it's, no, it's, uh, <laughs> just picture Dave doing the Tom. <laughs> somebody, here take, now. somebody take a picture of his picture. Come on, let's make this high <laughs> tech. Gotta do it, man. Yeah. Uh, so now, do you have your own religion? I mean, you, you're on the couch. You know what? You're doing stuff. Great artists. Where's the religion? You got to have the religion. You would, one would think. I want to follow you, man. Listen, I worship at the <laughs> altar of the stage, my friend. <laughs> the altar of the stage. I like that. That's I, that's a, I just made that up. It, it sounds that's kinda, like the, that's that like the deep, church man. of the poison <laughs> mind. I'm ready The for altar that. of the stage, Chapter man. Yeah. You got to be English when you yeah. talk about that. <laughs> I got that tattooed right. on my back. That's right. It's the altar you of the stage. Ben, you got to bend it at Cumberbatch. My second time. home, really. <laughs> you got you got to wrath the con that stuff right there, and you've been I, in. Well, well said. Yeah. You guys have been on the road with Alice in Chains. Has that been a fun trip for you guys? I have not seen one of them ever. Really? No, of course I have. We uh, <laughs> no, we've known each other for like twenty five years, so it's it's killer. We've never um, we've never played shows together, so this right. is the first time that Alice and Janes and Alice. I think. Hey, I, like I think. Wait a second. You know, T-shirt. Far be it for me to talk about promotion of this thing, but let's call it what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows we're here. Nobody, every city I go into, every city I go to, I, like I run into somebody on the street and they're like, Dave, Jane's Addiction, what are you doing in town? I'm like, oh, well, we're playing that huge thing over there that uh, obviously you didn't hear about. What is that? Some rock star energy drink thing? I'm like, yeah, it's Alice and Jane's is what it is. So, the BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.